Julian, this this is one of your most popular selling machines, isn't it? Here at TW Ward, a lot of a lot of people associate TW Ward with huge machine tools, but this is a little bit different. This is a little bit different, and yes, you're absolutely right. We are associated with big machine tools, and yes, we do do a lot of big installations, big machines. But amongst all the machines we do, this is a very very popular machine. What what makes it popular? I think the thing is, what we tried to do at TW Wards with the vertical machining centres, in particular the smaller end, was to get away from the run of the mill, a little bit more unique, a little bit of a selling point and a few advantages. Gone, to the, gone away from the linear guideway systems to a box guideway system, big, widespread, multiple um, supports on the Y axis, for example, big, uh, same on the X and on the Z. And, got away from there, let's move around as quickly as we possibly can, but give it a little bit more, give it a gearbox, give it a little bit more drive and add a few things to make it a TW Ward spec machine that people really want. Do people need those things these days though? Isn't the, the fact that you can do um, faster cuts, lighter cuts mean you don't necessarily need those heavy duty features? Well, th there, is, there is always that argument, yes, but the thing is a lot of people still do and a lot of people still like the comfort of knowing that, well, yeah, I've got a machine here which will, if I really want it to, I can cut plastic, I can cut light alloy, but if I really, really want to move into high integrity materials, I've got something as well, uh, there as well. And to be fair, it's our pitch with the market. You know, you can go along with a herd or you can go in with something a little bit different. And this, I think, and we think, is a little bit different. It's the longevity as well, isn't it? Isn't that a point when you start building machines in the way this is constructed, you do get that security of a a machine that's going to last a long time. You know, the thing is, you know, we put these machines in and we have no qualms at all about these. We can, you could, we don't. We could just walk away. We, could, we, we don't have any problems with them. You know, there's a two-year warranty on the machine, a standard. There's a five-year warranty on the box guideways from Hartford, given from Hartford. Uh, and, you know, they are reliable, long-term machines. There's, and people buy one and then another and then another. And it's... It's something that stems up overall from the, the whole Hartford ethos about building a machine. You build a machine big enough, you build it strong enough, and people will continue to say, well, actually, I'll pay a little bit more for that because that's, that is a well-built machine. And you look at them now, you, you know, you stand in front of it and you think, well, that is a very, very well-finished machine. It's polished. It's got a lot going for it. And it's, this is the meter, isn't it? This is the Pro 1000. So just tell us a little bit about the specification of this model. Yes, um, the Pro 1000 is a thousand table, a uh, meter table. You get a meter by 600 by 600 X, Y and Z. A TW Ward spec is 24 tools on a B, BT40 or a BBT40 spindle. A geared headstock is standard. We can bring them in with a pulley uh, and, uh, arrangement, but generally speaking, it's a geared headstock. Uh, you always get the chip conveyor, you get 20 bar coolant through this tool, through the spindle. Uh, and even now, because you get the dual screen arrangement, we even fit cameras inside them. So you can, when they, all the coolant starts splashing against the glass, you can still see what's going on. The sign of a well-built machine as well is the fact that the, when, when it hits the machine shop, you don't get coolant all over the floor. Is, is that the case well, with, with this machine? You know, there's a lot of machines out there that have been built these days. Well, you know, over the last 20 years. And there's a patch of, you know, sort of absorbance, whatever, gunk outside the side of the machines because there's a bit of coolant leaking out. The thing is about what Hartford have done, they've specifically designed the machine so it can't leak. I, I've never done it and I don't think I'm going to try, but I could fill that up with water and it won't leak. It's incredible. It's like a bathtub. The, it's, there's a specific design of the guarding which fits onto the base, the cast iron base of the machine, which means it's actually lipped underneath. It can't leak. It's incredible. Okay, so these machines are here in stock. This one specifically here, available. How quickly? Again, could if I wanted this, could it hit the deck in my you in my cup? This within days, because they're just it's just a straight drop onto a good floor. Get the uh, electricity to it, and that's it. You're off. You're off and running. And with your fan at control here, you say you've got the the dual screen. What what does that offer? Uh, the dual screen essentially what is at the top end there is a standard fan at control. Underneath is your M codes and various manuals, or you, uh, there is tool monitoring at the bottom there, and there's, of course, the camera inside the machine as well, which so you can actually see the, what's going on, all the operations of the machine, if you can't actually see through the glass. Often surprisingly, or maybe not surprisingly, engineers' first question when they look at a three-axis machine is, how much is it? 
you should be looking at about 65 to 70 thousand pound depending on the spec because you can add things to it but as i said i did actually go through the spec but there is something i did miss out which because we always bring with fourth axis prep and if you want a fourth axis we will supply it with a fourth axis as well so one of your most popular selling machines thank very you very much so very much this, this is a these are nice machines the, all the hartford range are good but this one, I, I don't know, I, it was one of the first machines I sold at TW Awards when I first came here. It's, it's, a, it's a nice machine and you, it's, you can just put them in. And that's, an, it's, it's, there's, everybody has a great deal of peace of mind and confidence in this machine.